We've got 15 satellite tags to deploy in Black Marlin, and every day, every hour counts. The opportunity to tag 15 fish in one location in the Eastern Tropical Pacific, nobody's ever done that before. Black Marlin tagging expedition. Day one. Nice bite, look at that. We're on, we're on. Look at the size of that fish, man. There it is, Black Marlin. <laughs> and now we're going 30 miles on one engine. We're 25 miles offshore. We're in the middle of nowhere. Take a look. Marlin Expedition 2011. We're gonna get our tag in him now. Did you tag him? And we're realizing we have a major, major issue right now. I just don't even know what to say, man. This is day one of our 14-day tagging expedition. It's really great to have you guys down here. Thanks for coming, man. Absolutely. Thanks, thanks, Glad thanks, thanks, thanks. And uh, we're gonna start, we're gonna, I think we're gonna fish Montuosa, start there because it's really reliable for getting bait. We're gonna be doing a lot of live baiting for these fish instead of trolling. And um, Montuosa is a little bit more consistent in getting our bait. Um, so we'll go out and we'll fill up our tuna tubes, catch a couple more, put them in the water and um, and just work some of those high spots, those pinnacles around there. And it should be, it's supposed to be rainy season, but it looks pretty good to me, yeah, absolutely. right? You know, this is so unique in the Eastern Pacific. It's the only place you can catch black marlin dependably every day. And the opportunity to tag 15 fish in one location in the Eastern Tropical Pacific, nobody's ever done that before, so. Nobody's ever done it. Whether you're bass fishing, and you're working shad boils and everything, or you're bone fishing or, or cooter shark fishing, you've got pilchards on the flats. Bait always attracts predators. Bait's always there. There's something feeding off of that bait. Bonita, in this example, is our bait of choice. Whenever you find the schools of Bonita, everybody else is there. You've got the marlin there. You've got the dolphin there the fish dolphin, mahi mahi dorado. You know, we have sailfish there as well. Um, and in this example, we have porpoises, not your typical porpoises, a larger porpoise. He's big and he's black and he's, he's constantly trying to feed on our bait. And it's now turning into a game where it's a tug of war. He comes up, he grabs our bait, he pulls off a hundred yards of line. You're winding away from him as fast as you can. They're coming behind it. So, Many days we're going through 20 baits just to keep them in the water, trying to have that encounter with the black marlin. And the amount of time that we're actually able to fish right now has been really limited because these porpoises have moved into our area. So it's not just the marlin that's out there. Everything that feeds on those bonita are swimming in the same waters and, um, you know, the more and more other species that are there, the lower our percentages of getting the marlin. We have to worry about the porpoises, and I think we got a little plan for them right now. You know, they use uh, sonar uh, to establish a lot of things. I think one of the reasons why they don't eat our whole bait with the hook in the head is they're pinging it, and they actually know that that's a metal object, so they're not gonna eat it. So we're gonna put a little tinfoil on their tail. We got a little surprise for them. This isn't fun. You think this is funny? Huh? A lot of time and energy went into this to have another uncontrollable circumstance. It's preventing us from doing our job, man. We, you know, yeah, we've seen these porpoises before. We've had these problems with them, but that's, 
that's as bad as it gets right there. That's as bad as it gets. You know, most of the time we see the porpoise and you know everything back from the TV shows with Flipper and all that. You know, the porpoise has been endearing to so many people. I mean, my girls love seeing the porpoises and they're in front of the boat jumping and looks like this playful thing. But from a sport fishing standpoint right now, um, it's been incredibly frustrating uh, with the porpoises lately, um, just eating our baits every day. Our last bait, trying to take care of it. Whereas then we have to go to troll and lures. And that's a waste of time. And we're realizing we have a major, major issue right now. Nice bite! Look at that! Tell me when. We're on! We're on! Look at the size of that fish, man. There he is. There it is, black marlin. I'm guessing he's around 300. I only saw a quarter of his body, his head coming out, shaking, but good. You know, it was unbelievable. We had porpoises on the bait again, and uh, Juan had brought the bait in short and had it right behind the boat, 30 feet behind the boat. He saw a boil on it, thought it was the porpoise again, but then all of a sudden saw the marlin. So it was, uh, Juan put it in free spool, marlin came back, ate it, we fed him, and uh, just the way it's supposed to work. I love it. Viva Panama! Black Marlin, Hannibal Bank. Beautiful, yeah. Nice job, everybody. Boy, there you go. Tickle him, John. Get him to come up two or three more times. Oh, nice. Woo. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Seven. Eight. Eight. Nine, there you go. Good, good. Ten. Eleven, twelve. I don't know what to do. Woo! 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 Gonna get our tag in him now. Coming up again, right here. We got him. One down, 14 to go. God, I wish you'd stop saying that. Let me tag him before you stay that. Would you please? Hey, we did our job. We hooked him up. Spooked this whole thing. Let me do it. One step at a time. Let me tag the fish. Then we got him. That's what we're here for, right? Huh? Nice fish, man. That's gorgeous. John, how you doing? Yeah, my knee's gone, man. I'm barely holding here. I, you know, I can't gain on him because my my knee hurts so bad. John's got a bad knee, and we're gonna pass the rod off to Dr. Prince. Yeah, yeah. Right to the swivel, back up, and drop the back the drag back a quarter way. Keep winding. Keep winding. Swivel to the tip. Nice fish, man. Let's get our first tag in a fish. Tag in. Tag in fish. Well, 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 well. Actually. How do you all think that fish is? Can we cut him off? Yeah, yeah, we can cut them off. We can cut it off, yeah. Huh? That is our no, first no. of many more over the next two weeks. I'm really excited. The fish was really in good shape. Perfect. Way to go. Woo! Got the tag in. John's just perfect placement. That's the way we like to see it done. I'm really excited about this. This is uh, only the second black marlin ever tagged with a satellite tag. So. <laughs> You know, the data that they'll be getting from this is is, uh, is is priceless, really. So, I don't know. I I couldn't be happier. 